Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to cover the testing interview questions asked at MDocs company, which is uh, located in Pune. So this was asked to one of my subscriber uh, who was two to three years of who had two to three years of experience. And the interview started with some of the generic questions like tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about your project and questions from resume. So that all going are going to be asked then then they started asking about the testing questions now in testing uh, various questions on gray box testing what are the objectives of gray box testing then uh, then test cases live uh, live scenarios of lift elevator all those questions would be covered then what is git and git commands those would be covered and uh, Git basics and then the differences between SDLC and STLC, then sanity testing and smoke testing, black box testing and white box testing. All these differences were asked. Then SQL queries were uh, covered, like primary key, uh, foreign key. What is uh, what is the difference between primary and foreign key? Then uh, what are joins, inner joins, outer join? So these all questions were covered. Now we would look into detail of all these interview questions and. I would be covering with the answers as well. Okay. So let us go to the first question. What is gray box testing? So gray box testing is a software testing technique, which is a combination of both black box testing as well as white box testing in black box testing. The tester is not uh, aware about the internal structure of the code and in white box testing, they are aware about the backend code. What is written in that? So over here in gray box testing, the internal structure is partially known to the tester that is gray box testing. And again, it will have access to the internal data structures and algorithms for the purpose of designing test cases. So you can answer in this manner. And then the, you might also be asked why, why one should go for gray box testing. What is the significance? What is what are the objectives of gray box testing? So it is very simple and straightforward that it is basically done to provide the combined advantage of both black box as well as white box testing. It is done to combine the input of both developers as well as testers. It would also help to you know, improve the overall product quality. Then it is done to reduce the overhead of long process of functional as well as non-functional testings. Then the developers will get time enough to fix the defects and it is done from a user point of view rather than the designer point of view. Now test cases of lift were asked. So whenever you know, see now over here, let me give you a very brief idea how any test cases you can cover. Let's say if you are asked a test cases of pen or you know fan or bulb or anything. So as a tester, it is very necessary that you have an analytical mind. Okay, these questions will be short short coming up in an interview. Okay, one or two live scenarios they might ask like give us the test cases of e-commerce website or something like that. So on the fly, how can you develop the test cases? So what you can start with, you can start with the objects that are already there in your home or in your surroundings or at your office. Okay, and you can start. How can you test this particular thing, test this particular object? Let's say if a bottle is there. So you can take an example of the cap is there or the whole body is there, which are the different liquids that you can pour into that bottle. So in this way, you can, uh, you know, you can develop this practice of thinking of the testing scenarios on the fly. Okay. No, so what would happen? It would, it would also help you to overcome the fear when these test cases or these test scenarios are being asked in an interview to you. Okay. Because in an interview, obviously there is some, you know, hesitation. There is some, sometimes lack of confidence is there. Sometimes fear is there. So if you are already developing this practice, it is, it is, you know, doing this practice every day for just five to 10 minutes, it will help you a lot in the testing interview. Okay. Now let us see the test cases of lift. So, uh, let's say if you are standing outside of the lift, so it should get open whenever, uh, you know, you press the button of the lift. And then if you are standing on the ground floor, so it, it should come. It should uh, give some sound that it is opening for you. 
then uh, in the outer box it, there should be some kind of display should work it should be properly uh, captured over there like at which particular floor the lift is going then once you are inside the lift if no one else is entering so after 10 seconds the door should close by itself okay then when you press any of the buttons that are there within the lift like fan is there light is there or stop is there push is there any any all those buttons should work the caption the text on all those buttons should be displayed properly okay so uh, then then let's say if you are clicking uh, if you are pushing for eighth floor or 10th floor then it should go on that now, now in some companies or in some you know malls there are lifts that are only stopping at halting at odd numbers or at even numbers so you can add that test, test cases also then uh, verify on reaching the correct floor it should automatically stop and it should open okay so these are the various test cases of lift now what is git okay so git is a version control software so as this is a very very important uh, you know key points keywords that you should use in the definition version control okay now what is version control the very next question it will come like this it might come in an interview but this in an mdocs it was only asked what is git okay but now if you are answering version control so you should also know what is version control so version control software keeps track of every modification to the code in a special kind of database okay now now why why is it important let's say if a mistake is made so the developers can turn back and they can compare the earlier versions of the code to help and they will come to know okay these are the these are the new lines of the code that i had added so let me not add them the earlier lines were proper or these were the new lines of the code that are impacting the change so let me resolve them so it is done to make a minimized disruption to all the team members okay it is a kind of collaboration also you can tell software okay and git is basically used for uh, among the software engineers and even it has been used by the automation people also let's say if you have to manage your code so you'll be using git only okay now uh, then few of the git commands were asked like git init what is the function of it git add git commit so over here i have list down all the basics of uh, commands of git which can be asked so first is git init so what it would do is, is it would basically create an empty git repository in a specified directory okay and uh, git clone will be used to clone the repository located into the into your local machine okay and then it can be uh, it can be accessed on your local file system basis then git config username so it is nothing but it is a author name to be used devs commonly used as global dash dash global flag to set config operation options for current user git add it will stage all the changes in the directory for the next commit okay git commit means commit the state step dot but instead of launching a text editor use message as the git message then git status so it will tell you which all the what is the status of the files whether whether it is staged unstaged untracked git log is there display the entire commit history using the default format okay then git diff is there so it will show the unstaged changes between your index and the actual the the working directory okay then differences between sdlc and stlc these differences were asked then what is sanity testing and smoke testing what is black box and white box testing various sql queries will be asked then inner join outer join primary key foreign key so these all the topics that i have covered already in my youtube channel i'll paste the link of the youtube videos in the job in this youtube description but sdlc and stlc i have not covered so let me cover them over here so sdlc is nothing it is mainly related to the software development and stlc okay it's a uh, minor mistake over here so it is stlc it is mainly related to the software testing sorry my bad and uh, besides development other phases like testing is also included in sdlc while in stlc it focuses only on testing goal of sdlc is to complete software development of the software 
and SDLC is to complete successful testing of the software. SDLC phases are completed before the SDLC, STLC phases and STLC phases are performed after the SDLC. And SDLC will help you to develop a good quality software and STLC will help you to make the software defects free. So this was the difference. Now, thank you for watching this video. If you have also attended the test testing interviews, you know, please share questions at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. Also, we are conducting free mock interviews for people so that they can also track how much they have gained the knowledge, whether they are prepared for giving the interviews or not. And this mock interviews are absolutely free. We won't charge you anything for that. So uh, please drop us an email at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com if you are really interested for mock interviews. And also, I would appreciate if you can share some of the testing interview questions along with the companies you have faced. So it would help the community. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.